C plus N plus F plus B equals V. So we got to connection, and now we realize we have to control the phone call in order to get to N. So what's N? That's no secret, is it? Our job is to sell products. People buy things that they need. And in order to understand what they need about the product, we have to find that need. That's used, and we're gonna do that by asking questions. Our third step of the process is not only to find the problem, but we're going to solve the customer's problem. See, probing questions, that's what we're gonna utilize. Probing questions are open-ended questions that are gonna allow us to find out what that customer is looking for. Now, if your customer picked up the phone to call you, there's definitely a need. Remember, if someone is happy and completely satisfied about the products that they have, completely happy and satisfied with, would they, are they gonna pick up the phone and call us? They may watch the show, but why call? There's really no need for them. Let's put a personal situation. Who likes steak? If I made you a 42 ounce porterhouse steak, mm -mm, porterhouse steak with mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes and butter, I'm sure you're stuffed. Are you looking for another steak dinner right after that? Probably not, because your need has been satisfied. So your customer's calling. It's not just for the price. They're calling because they're interested. They're interested because there is a need. We have to find that need. Now, why did I branch connection before need? Because if you cannot connect to your customer, they are not going to open up to you and tell you what they're really looking for. See how important those few minutes are to spend with the customer? It's going to help you find the sale. Ask your customers questions. Now what you're gonna love about what we do with our scripts is we will actually put the questions in the script for you. But don't just ask one question, then go to question two in the script and go to question three in the script. Ask a question, listen to your customer's response and build on top of their answer. So what if the next question you're gonna ask isn't the next question in your presentation? The next question should be to find out and take you a step closer to why your customer picked up the phone to call. Write this down. If you find out why your customer picked up the phone to call, you're gonna find out why your customer's going to buy. That's your job. Ask questions, build upon those questions. You notice the pattern again. Make a friend, ask questions. Find your customer's need, ask questions. Do we remain in control of the phone call? Absolutely. When we're finding out the customer's need, can we still build more rapport with our customer? Absolutely. Now you may, ask, you may ask this, do I have to ask questions on every product? What if they're already calling in to order? Yes, ask questions. Find out what they liked about the product as you're placing the order because you have to remember you have upsells. And if you don't ask the probing questions and you don't find the customer's need, how can you build value on the upsells? Probing questions are king. They are just as important as connecting. They are just as important as controlling your phone call. A great salesperson will ask questions and they will listen. At this point of the phone call, I encourage the customer to talk because what they're going to tell me, your customer is gonna tell me everything that I need to know to sell them. They're actually building a road map. They're drawing a map, a treasure map, and every time they, they answer a question and expand upon that question, it's getting me closer and closer to my goal, which is to sell the customer. You're gonna have agents that will take this and use this step. But I guarantee you this, if you don't ask probing questions, you won't make money. You have to do this on every single phone call. As expressed before, 
even if it's a lay down, they're calling to order as you're placing their order and you're putting in the card information and you're building the address, you're gonna ask the customer questions. What did you like about the product? I'm so excited that you ordered this today. What were some of the things that you liked about it? What are you gonna be using it for? Because guys, you're gonna be listening to what they're telling you and you'll be able to now build value in the upsells. Call control is king. Connection is king. And probing questions, they're king too. They're all important. You won't be able to build the equation. You won't be able to build value without it. So once you find why the customer called, we're gonna take it one step further. We're gonna solve their problem before we've even gone into the presentation. Now this technique is what separates average salespeople from great salespeople. The customer's gonna tell you all they need to know, all they're looking for, and you're gonna listen. And before we get into the main offer, into the scripting, you're gonna find features of the product that you're selling, and you're gonna find features, and you're gonna make those features benefit the needs that your customer has given you. I think we just built the equation. Connection plus needs plus features plus benefits equals what? Value, and now we're building value. People buy benefits, and every single one of your products have benefits. Don't be a feature dumper. What does that mean? Because the customer has asked you or seems that they're interested and you wanna go through and give them all the features of the product. Features don't sell, benefits sell. So you're gonna take a feature of the product, you're gonna show how that feature benefits the customer. Let me give you an example. A product like Luminesce. The customer says, I'm looking for a makeup. That I want. I'm looking for something that's not cakey. I'm looking for something that lasts longer throughout the day because the, the, the makeup I'm currently wearing, it doesn't work that way. The makeup I'm currently wearing, at the end of the day, it's making me look older. Well, that's pretty much all you need to know. That is why your customer's calling. So let's solve their issue. I'm, glad you, I'm so glad you called it. You know what you're gonna love about the Luminesce? is that it's a water-based makeup. There's your feature. And the thing about the water-based makeup is it's gonna go on so light and so smooth, it's gonna last a lot longer, last up to 18 hours, and you're gonna love that because you're not gonna be touching up your face all the time, but it, all, it goes on so light and smooth that it's gonna give you that amazing cover-up that you're looking for. You're gonna look just as great at the end of the day that you did in the beginning of the day, and that's why you called me, right? What did I just do there? I solved the customer's problem. Now, you'll get agents that will just go through the probing questions. They won't follow up and go to the main offer. You know what? No one's gonna get, you're not getting in trouble for doing that. But to make it better, do what I just did. Get the customer excited. Get the customer wanting to purchase this product. And did you see what I did at the end of that, where I took the features of the product and I showed how it would benefit it? I got the customer to say yes. When I said, and that's exactly what you're looking for, right? That is called a tie down. Oh, tie downs. The most underused sales tool out there, but probably one of the most powerful tools out there. See, tie downs are questions that get the customer to say yes, and tie downs work. The more times you can get the customer to say yes and agree to the little pieces of the product, the easier it's gonna be for you to get the, the, the customer to say yes to the price. Customers get in a yes mode and tie downs do that for them. Let me give you some examples of tie downs. That's exactly what you're looking for, right? You are looking for a better looking makeup today, right? You are looking to make money today, right? You are looking for uh, a device that'll help you stop snoring at night, right? You are looking for makeup that's gonna last up to 18 hours, right? What word am I ending my tie downs with? The word is right. When I say right, the customer's gonna respond back with a yes. And remember this, only ask a tie down if you know what the answer's gonna be. You do think that four payments of $49.99 is a great price, right? Well, you know what's gonna happen to that. It's very easy for a customer to say, that's way much more money than I expected to spend today. Use tie downs 
when you know the customer's going to say yes. Now, the rule is, try to get your customer to say yes at least three to four times before you present the price. The more times they say yes, the easier it'll be for you when you try to close them. Practice these tie downs, use these tie downs. You'll find not only use them at, at, at work, use them at home, use them in your personal life. You'll find more success getting the customer to say yes. You'll have more success getting friends and family members to say yes than saying no.